I'm a creature of habit and I already have a morning routine here in the Big Brother house. I get bright and early before anyone else. I go to the bathroom and I make my pit stop. I go to the kitchen, big old glass of strong coffee. And then it's off to the boat room. I give shout outs to my family and all those cliffomaniacs out there. And then I unload everything and anything that's on my mind. What do otters think about when they're holding hands? Are regular rainbows jealous of double rainbows? Do toys really come alive and live in their own complicated lives when we're not paying attention? Why is it Houston, Texas? but Houston Street in New York. I don't mind sharing my thoughts with the live feeders. Just consider it my cliff notes. It's interesting the couples that are starting to emerge. Mickey and Kat. The juice isn't worth the squeeze anymore. And for that reason, I'm out. Are you conspiring against me? Mickey and Holly. Mmm. I love sloppy seconds. Yeehaw! Taking souls and filling holes. Jack and Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, feed two birds with one scone and move to the shower. I want to do whatever you want to do. And Bella and Nick. I think Christy and Tommy are very tight. I think they're working together even more than before. Meanwhile, I'm in an alliance with Nicole and Ovi called the Fellowship of the Zing. One other thing, the most important, I like pizza. Holy shit. This is crazy because I just learned so much from Cliff's monologue. Not only is he on to me and Tommy, but he likes pizza? What the f I need to find Grateful and tell them everything I heard. Yo, assholes, wake up right now. I just learned Cliff's entire game plan. Oh, really? Did you get anything good? Oh, yeah. Can you believe that this freak likes pizza? I didn't see any pizza in the storage room inventory. He has to check with me first before he eats that. Oh, uh, okay. But get this. Cliff... Nicole and Ovi are a bunch of Lord of the Rings losers. They, they gotta, gotta go. go. Hello, America. It's time to see which person of color the house guests will send to Camp Comeback. You know it's true. Yep. yep. Before the house guests vote, the two nominees will each have a chance to address their housemates. Jessica, you're up first. Gracias, Julie. First, I want to thank God and everyone and my family and CBS. And did I mention I have a family I'm playing for? I love you. 23 days. This last week has felt like 23 days. And so has this speech. Want to wrap it up? I'm loyal to the T, to everyone, so please keep me to stay and fight. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Kemi. You have the floor. Okay, first of all, uh, thank you, CBS and production. House guests, I love each and every one of you in your own ways. Uh, with that being said, Nick and Bella, you've been running around the house, playing both sides of the house, creating a bunch of alliances, doing a whole bunch of stuff, and you know the writing's on the BB walls, and the walls are closing in. I'll see you both at Camp Comeback at some point. Okay, thank you both. I can't stomach all of the hallway dances and diary room shout outs, so I will now reveal that by a vote of 10 to 1, Kemi, you are out of the game and moving upstairs to Camp Comeback. Cool. So, Kemi, how's it going after that speech? It's pretty awkward, Julie. Why is it awkward? Read the room, Julie. I don't want to talk about it in front of everyone. Okay. Good night, America.